All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTS Mobile Game, bringing you a fantastic video today. In today's video, we are playing Lord of the Rings: Rise to War, and we are in the garage doing leg day, making you a video because I'm the best. Anyways, give me that like and sub. I love you, long time. Let's get into it. So, first things first. Today's video is about the Mama Kill, as you probably have guessed. Mama Kills are Phenomenal units with great damage, check, great HP, check, great speed, check. Uh, that's defense, <laughs> great defense as well. Great speed, check, and great siege. They also have uh, the beast ability, which means they can be recruited by good or evil factions. They are large units, so maxed out they get 15% reduced physical damage taken. And they have a unique ability called Mumakil's Charge, which means they attack every unit on the field. If you have... Uh... If you have 15 million units on the field, they'll attack all 15 million. If you have three units on the field, they'll attack three units at a time. So they attack everything with splash damage, allied or enemied alike. The only exception is the tier three uh, commander for the evil factions, Black Snake. He has a respect level five talent, which will prevent mama kills from damaging en uh, allies, okay? If you don't have him, uh, don't put them in an army with anybody else. <laughs> All right, let's close the M Mama Kills out. Close the route. Okay. On to the build itself. All right, let me jump over to my Kamul because I've specifically tailored the build just for them. Uh, Gear-wise, nothing special. You know what? Get stuff that has might on it. Speed could be a good secondary talent, but uh, put stuff with might on it and then get stuff that has reduced physical damage taken or reduced uh, focus burn or poison damage taken on it. That will be beneficial. Spec wise, okay, here we go. First things first, we're going to completely max out the tier 1 respect level 1 talents for Kamul. If you're not respect level 5, that is fine. We'll talk about that right now. So if you are respect level 1, you're going to be maxing out this talent tree, okay? And then if you can get the respect level 3, you're going to be getting Ring Wraith and then uh, Nazgul Screech, which is going to be a guaranteed stun to 2 units around 1. If you can get to respect level 5, you are going to prioritize respect level 5 over everything. Respect 5 will be maxed out first, and then you'll jump down to the respect level 1 talents. Then with whatever leftover points you have after that, you'll go for Ring Wraith and Nazgul Screech. What do these abilities do? Let's take a look. Second in command gives you 15% bonus damage. Anticipation gives you 75% chance to dodge 4 attacks. Uh, since you only have one unit in your army, this will affect that unit 75% of the time. It also gives 35 defense, which is great. Uh, all of those are great, but the respect level 5 tree is better. So that's what you're going to put your points in first if you are R5, okay? The Black Easterling is going to give the enemies, two of your enemies, minus 30 speed, minus 30 defense. It's going to give you plus 30 speed, plus 30 defense. So it's going to give you 15 might. Hamstring is one of the best abilities in the game because it gives the enemy targets two targets, negative 7% defense and speed every round, and this stacks. So by round three, there's two enemy units that have negative 21% speed, negative 21% defense, which is phenomenal. Okay, in addition to that, you have a massive damage dealing stacking ability here, which is called the Black Rider. Since Mama Kills are mounted units, they are going to get bonuses from this. This ability maxes out at 19.5% bonus damage. So it maxes out at 3 ticks. You are able to trigger this ability uh, within one round if you're fighting. If they, if they hit three targets, whether it's two allied targets and one enemy target, I don't care. It's going to max out the ability. There's even something to be said about adding in like uh, uh, 100 you know, junk units. Uh, into your own army just so they hit them and kill the units and gain a bonus damage around one Still debatable haven't tried it yet something I'm gonna try later If you put in a hundred crushers the crushers could attack a target debuff the target by whatever not minus 12 or minus 14 defense They get killed give your mama kills an additional six percent uh, six and a half percent damage Then your mama kills are gonna deal uh, attack a target with more damage with less defense uh, and do more DPS there. Something interesting I haven't tried yet. I'm just theory crafting it, okay? So, that is the build to run. You can also run it with the Undying Commander because he has a similar ability in his Respect Level 5 tree. He has Fanaticism. So this gives you five bonus, uh, plus five bonus damage per round. 
similar to Kamul's ability, although this you can't you can hit as many targets as you want, you're only getting 5% per round. In addition to that, you can run Undead Commander, which is going to give your army a 60% chance of avoiding four physical damage attacks, as well as enemy damage minus 21, and uh, Nimbleness, which will reduce the physical damage taken by your Mama Kills. So, damage wise, if you decide to run with Undying instead of Kamul, he'll do a little bit less damage up until about round 7, in which case he'll do more damage than Kamul, uh, and he also has slightly better defensive talents. So, I would say that the ability to completely negate healing here and then do a decent heal to your mama kills in round four, as well as stack damage uh, and get some good reduced damage abilities in the respect one tree, Undying probably has about a 20 to 25% stronger defensive position with mama kills and a 20 to 25% weaker offensive position compared to Kamul with the mama kills. So take your pick. They're both extremely strong, okay? Uh, and that, uh, and that, let's jump down to a respect level one commander and we'll talk about that because there is a respect level one commander that is strong with mama kills, believe it or not. Okay, that is Ugthak. Ugthak can actually be very strong with mama kills and I'll tell you why. There are three reasons why he can be fantastic with mama kills. The first reason is his tier one talent. It's called Scorch. Scorch will give two enemy targets, uh, burn damage, but as well... As that, it'll give them a 25% increased damage received debuffed for two rounds. Your mama kills will like that very much. In addition to that, he is going to give uh, all allied units a 28% increased damage dealt and a 5% increased damage received buff through Dangerous Trade. Very strong there. So that is going to be a 28% damage buff to your guys right there. Where is the other one? Where is the other one? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, another, there's another talent as well. In addition to that, he is going to give Deepen Wounds to one target, which is going to increase the damage they take by 21%, enhanced by Might. So with a full built uh, Ugthak, you could see maybe a 30% damage debuff on somebody there. If it stacks with the 25% debuff from uh, Scorch, you could see 50% plus damage boost to your Mama Kills against a target. Plus, they'll be dealing 28% increased damage dealt through Dangerous Trade, you're looking at north of 70 to 80 percent damaged uh, bonus to one to two targets on any turn. So, Ugthak, if you are respect, uh, uh, looking for tier one commanders as a free to play, you can f make him phenomenal uh, very easily with respect level one and respect level three abilities. Okay, you do not need respect five. So this is very free to play, player friendly. All right, that is the video for you. I love you guys a long time. I actually, by the way. And running Mama Kills on my Ugthak on my free to play account, which I'm posting a video of later, so you'll get to see that in action. But, anyways, enough of me. Give me a like and sub. Love you a long time. Randy out.